Ooh, interesting. So Despade, I did not want to, uh, I don't want to forget, Despade is also very, very serious about uh, their Sora. Uh, not necessarily always just Bayo. So I'm kind of curious to see how this goes, just because uh, if anyone knows how to fight Bayo, especially as Sora, it's got to be Despade. I think I got to hit you with this, and I hate to do it. I think that is Radiant Dawn Sora. Because Mitz being the Mega Man with the name Mitz. There it is. Thank yep. you. Okay. Never mind. So the Bayonetta being Death Spade and Buddha Bam rocking the wolf, which I don't know why. Just feels like a wolf username. Yeah, that kind of does. I don't know why. So, disregard. I guess on the opposite side of that, if anyone knows how to fight Sora as Bayo, yeah. it's, it's still Death Spade. Oh, Force God. Force coming off, though. Horrible angle, too. It's a Fiesta on the left side. Yeah. Ooh. Speaking of party time, beautiful sweet spot on that up tilt right there. That's what Mega Man always wants if you can find it. Um, so far, Red Team, not off to a bad start. I think Sora's kind of underrepresented in doubles. He's got big hitboxes. He's got fantastic kill power. You don't have to babysit his recovery. Yeah. He's got a lot to offer a team. Can make the reach as well, too. The character's got insane range to combo off of whatever your teammate's throwing at you. Mm -hmm. Middle of the stage here holding shield. Oof. Not as many interactions as we were seeing in the previous game, and I think it's on account of, like, you know, all of these characters seem to have really particular hits, not throwing out chaos like as Bowser's or as Lucina's might have previously. Except for that exact downer, but yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree with you. The exception to the rule. It's like English. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say, both Sora and Mega Man are probably very good at finding reversals if a Bayo combo drops. So Despay is going to have to be really on the mark, because you saw Mega Man was trying to get, like, an up B. You saw that uh, Sora was trying to get an up B as well. So really got to be on the money for these. Ooh, great grab there, too. You saw the jump after the throw coming in from Buddha Bam. That's nice. made right there and ready. <laughs> I like that. Uh, he had the crash bomb on him. I was like, I'm just, I just choose to not interact with this. I'm just going to hold this for up. It's not mine. Planking out with Uppy here, too. A lot of players taking damage from that interaction on that left flat. Trying to take the Mega Man high, but no. We Ooh. take our friend, but forward smash. Found for Death Spade. Yeah, that was a great read. He's like, all right, I can't kill you off the top. You've been dodging everything. I'll just let you land in front of me. And Loki, no up B. You have to drift back. Mm -hmm. No choice left. All right. I can tell the red team definitely has some combos ready. They're comboing off throws pretty pretty efficiently in this first game. But uh, Death Spade is just running around trying to find these up Bs. Oh, and the exact way Death Spade took that stock, he's going to lose that stock, over sending off the top and getting hard F smashed as soon as he landed on the platform. Back air, a little low for it. We're back with the Wolf Flash, though. Yeah, it's just been, like, very congested in the corner of these stages, too. Not seeing a lot of stuff go from, you know, the middle third as opposed to the outer two. Mm -hmm. Metal Blade coming in here. Not going to wow. find the up tilt just yet. Mega Man just hanging on by a thread. Wolf not too much healthier. And a team kill, unfortunately, from uh, Despade is going to force him into a uh, 2v1. And Sora still has that extra stop. Well, had that extra stop. It's crazy. Mega, okay. Man, Mega Man just sat there and said, no, nah, you got it. He's Mitz, <laughs> Mitz said, no, you're good. He, like, said, I promise. he said, why are you, as a man, in which time right now? <laughs> <laughs> Number 752 of things guys can't do. Men can't be which time. Yeah. That's, that's what that is. Men can't be alone, have friends, touch grass, stay inside. Work too much, work too little. <laughs> eat olives with a toothpick. Men can't eat olives? <laughs> well, I hate olives. That's fine. Yeah, I do too. All right, well. That one's for me. All right, so we have ourselves a 1v1 situation. Um, again, Despade very intimate with how this matchup would go, I imagine, just being like an expert in both. Thunder doing a really good job of shutting out those air-to-air -air approaches that Bayo needs, though. That range getting covered is huge for him. Yeah, you see him immediately switching to Thunder. He's Chilling. like, this is the one that I need. Covers that height, too. Bayonetta has to reuse resources to get back. Not that that's big of a deal for the recovery aspect, but you get some time. Yeah, that's one of the few moves that she actually has to worry about coming to the stage against. In the game. In the game. <laughs> Literally. Oh, this could be big. Up smash? Waiting. No, up B. Beautiful. Great DI. Very early use of the thunder here, too. Death Spade might take this one. No, not going to get any higher. Yeah, not high enough just yet. Got to be honestly cognizant of all three of Sora's uh, neutral beep at this point because all of them might lead to a kill at 133. Ooh, yeah, we're getting out of there on that left side. This is it. No! Misses the up smash punish. Sora just a little bit too drifty. That was a close call for red team for sure. Really anxious to use his thunder up. Be waiting for it. Not going to get the scoop. If it would land it on the ground in the ice, it would have been death for death space for sure. 
Yep, not going to be able to find those confirms. Bale with all this rage, it might be a little bit tougher, I would imagine, to get these combos to work yeah. how you expect them to. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. I was worried there that the Thunder would still hit. That was that was really, really good play right there. Being able to, to uh, bait out that aggressive side B by which timing the Thunder, that was just so smart. What a scrambly, scary first game for everybody involved. And also, that was a three-stock comeback. I don't want to discount that either. Yeah. Because um, that double witch time, literally that match was unwinnable outside of that happening. Top ten song in Smash right here. This is such Absolute a banger. Absolute banger. Let's go. I'm loving the music counter picks we're getting in doubles here. I hope that carries over into singles. This high key might be – I think this is like top three for me. I love this song. It's top ten for sure. There's so – there's, what, 1,200 songs in this game too? But oh, yeah. Top ten overall, top eats. three for me personally. It eats. I don't even know what game this is from. Is it a Fire Emblem song? Gotta be. It's gotta gotta be. be. Yeah. This song gets me so hyped. Over here, too. Leaf Shield comes through and interrupts. Radiant Dawn there trying to get back to the bottom of that platform. Yeah, trying to figure out whatever they can. Right now, looks like Mega Man kind of trapped in the middle here. Uh, Wolf and Bayo are both very good characters for, like, sharing combos with each other. Yeah. Forward air just resets at a really good angle, so going to have to be careful there. But I like the way he's fighting his way down with that hard knuckle. He's just like, yo, you are not going to just get these uh, air-to-air combos for free. Forward smash coming out here, too. Let, let it ride there, too. Still back on stage for Death Spade, but Mega Man definitely has the range tools to deal with get-up options coming out of Bayonetta with no issue. But we're looking for a roll there, too. Maybe want it up till after. I feel like Mitz is very comfortable just hanging out in shield with, like, Metal Blade. We've seen insane out-of-shield combos from Mega Man before with players like MPG, of course, yeah. uh, getting all those crazy foot tools and stuff. But he's like, yeah, I, I want you to interact with my shield specifically. On that platform, Deathspade trying to abuse Mitz, not going to take the bait and punish Ooh. his teammate. He is finding these up tilts. I'll yeah. give him that. One thing this man going to do is get that up tilt. Metal Blade, give me this grab here, too. Oh, trying to go for the reset. We find another grab, though. Mitz. Is that the Mitz tech? That's what we're going to call that now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That platform reset was low key crazy. Ooh. Yeah, that was tough. That was tough. Somebody had to get got there. Yeah, somebody had to go after that Trump, unfortunately. But yeah, they're definitely slowing the pace of the match down a little bit. Uh, blue team slightly at a disadvantage here. Uh, Sora's survivability has been really strong. And that counter was very smart, because at 126, you can't take any chances. Ooh, the drag down there, too. That pressure over shield from Mitz. We are dancing. Mm. Looking for yeah. a down there. Not going to happen. I want to see Wolf kind of like mix it up a little bit more. I want to see a little bit more scrapping from his part. I feel like Wolf is just such a strong pressure character. And we're starting to see it right now with that fair to bear. Not enough to kill just yet, but uh, I feel like he can kind of like outbox both these characters. Yeah. Heavy pressure has not been a problem for Mitz to get back to stage. Up tilt, though, a little bit ambitious. All right, can't overcommit. Because like if Mega Man reverses that situation with like an up air or something, Bayo dies crazy early. Going close there, too. He rises up with the double jump from the bottom of the stage. Red team finds good footing here. Great team save from Radiant Dawn right there. That was a that was a pretty rough position to be in. Wow, that kind of hits down there? I see it. Oh, yeah, Disney hitboxes, bro. Disney hitboxes don't play. Good save here, reversing the situation. We are going. All right, there it is. The up air not going to connect just yet. But uh, definitely going to make it tougher for Deathspade to make it down to the ground. Uh, again, uh, Radiant Dawn is just surviving for eons and eons with the Sora. He has so much time to stall in these recoveries, too. This is actually the exact same scenario we were in last game. Yeah, no, I see you. All right, who is going to take this next stock? It's going to decide so much. Only two Ooh. stocks left on the blue team. And wow, that was risky going for that F smash uh, up in Sora's face. Four, one, two, three. You are yes. dead off the side. Up till ambitious, but it actually clears out Despade, which is the most scary person on the field there after that whip hit. Mm -hmm. And really unfortunate, too, for Buddha Bam to miss that up smash because that could have been the difference maker. That could have been how we get into 2v1 territory. Oh, oh what a wow. I think he traded with uh, Witch Twist 1, I want to say. Like, that, was, that was really close for uh, Despade. 
Ooh, wanted to catch roll in there, didn't jump in time. Ooh, this is so tense. Nice up smash out of shield, though. Uh, Bayo does want to dance on top of your shield a lot. Mitt's not going for it. Great punish. And it looks like Red Team is all but ready to take this game, too. Pressure, though. Up smash will take it. We have one stock game here. All right. Uh, Buddha Bam, this is your moment. This is your shining moment to make an enormous comeback. Honestly, it's not that far out of the realm. Once he gets to like 60, 70, that wolf back air is basically just like a shotgun blast to the face. I would not be that surprised if a comeback happened. But you can't make any risks. Uh, you can't trade. You can't land on Sora's shield. You have to play this so very carefully. Ooh, that. not gonna find the follow-ups off of it, hovering over that shield. Great roll through the parry. I think we're good on D. Oh, nice, nice. Never mind, it was fresh. It was fresh. I wasn't kidding. You can't interact with the shield. I think when you're in that position, you have to just kind of like really try to focus grabs and maybe whatever follow-ups you can get from that because like up B, up smash, all that is just so devastating on a sword shield. Yeah. No, I feel that. There wasn't like a lot of uh, – it was like a, a lot of really hard approaching aerials. There wasn't any like drift in, drift out fair from Wolf, which I think would have been nice. Obviously, you can't interact with that shield, as you were saying, my friend. Yeah, that would have helped uh, a, li a little bit with the mix-up game here. But now we have ourselves a 1-1. And both games have been extremely competitive, so I definitely can't call this either way. But, yeah, I feel like Wolf's pressure hasn't been as scary as it could be. Yeah. I mean, it is tough, too. Wolf's definitely, like, the like a 1v1 character. This is not, you know, the ideal environment for Wolf. You kind of just get bullied and boxed around until you're forced to use one of your two recovery options. Right. Which are both very linear, very predictable. Very linear, very predictable. And um, things like Metal Blade, things like Sora being able to take a round trip flight off stage. Mm -hmm. well, let's get into this game three. I did not peep the music. I don't know if they just picked like a, they just let it, the music rock I think, I think we're just letting it rock. I think we're letting the DJ pick. DJ on a shuffle like, yo, I hate this. No one listens to Katy Perry anymore. Get that off of here. I'm not a California girl. I don't want to. Back air over. The shield of mitts there, but maneuvering out with the back air. And also, shout out to Mega Man. Riptide and Mega Man kind of go together. Peep not getting second place last year. Right. And uh, he still seated to be a pretty big threat at this one, didn't he? Is Peep here? Yeah, I thought he was like the. I thought he was here. I thought he was pretty high seated. Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, definitely uh, hardcore overperformance you expect from Mega Man uh, last year at Riptide. And uh, right now, Mega Man stocks are rising because these combos I've seen from Mitts have been really clean. Thunder off stage once again. That is so tough for Wolf to deal with. You are forced to drift out on that if that is an option on the board. Going high here too. Downer not going to stop Decimate single hit. I like that using the neutral beat of stall. Tries to get the same F smash read. Enormous punish from Mitch though with that up tilt. That's unfortunate for Decimate. I like the Sonic Blade is so good about just interrupting combos. Yeah. That's a really good sword tool. Again, I think this character is pretty solid in doubles. I don't think there's too many characters that are bad in doubles at this point. Yeah. But it's like few characters who like rise up tier lists in doubles though. Like yeah. you've seen as the Mario's, maybe even the Sora's of the world. Puffs, Puff too. Yeah, for real. I think Puff gets way better in teams. Ooh, gonna get bats within through here. Red team in a really bad Ooh. situation as we find the atomic leg drop. Yeah, normally you see that killing off the side on the stage, but that one just regular spiked. That's unfortunate. Oh no, Deathspade making the team combo a little worse, trying to bail out uh, Buddha Bam right there from that pressure coming from uh, Radiant Dawn. Ooh, back here, back to the stage. Did not seem Ooh. like Buddha Bam wanted anything to do with it. That landing lag will get you caught. Up Smash not going to fully connect, and I think that's why Mitz is still alive. Still alive, yes. I think this is a really good game for uh, Red Team right here. Deathspade already on one stock, and we're seeing really, really big punishes coming from ABK. So that kind of like discourages uh, her a little bit from really just going wild in teams like Bayo wants to. All right, let's see if this combo can do it. No one's out off the top yet, but this will be the first one. Successfully, yes. Mitz at 151. Got to play really careful. If you see him throwing out that leaf shield, trying to make sure that no interaction is not at least a trade in his favor. But right now, red team. Rapids? No, it's even now. Thanks to that rapid jab from Deathspade. Damn near split down the middle here. Mitz on a fresh stock, but we are still moving. Oh, able to fall out there. Heavy weight and low percent. We are all right. Yeah, uh, Buddha Bam got to be really careful. Both these characters combo Wolf so hard, especially with his uh, his gravity. But that back here going to be a really early stock for the red team. And now it is up to Buddha Bam to make the 2v1 comeback that we saw Despain make earlier. 
can he do it? Now again, Wolf, really strong character in neutral. Not the best 2v1 character, kind of lacking in speed in some areas and a little bit linear. This is going to be tough, especially with all the projectiles coming out. We got the thunder, we got the pellets, the leaves, everything is just being thrown right at Budabam's head. Could we maybe find another stock as we did in that previous game when it was in the 2v1 to make this a little bit easier? Ah! Oh my goodness, maybe one of the ledge there, most likely a miss input. And we will see. Radiant Dawn admits take most likely an upset. Yeah, that had to be an upset for sure.